Hey everybody, it's time for the Village's News. Sex offender arrested after camping out on bench at the Village's Hospital ER. Coleman man and tries to chew or swallow marijuana to avoid arrest in Wildwood. Villager's adult son arrested after drinking beer and wandering up north. An adult son who lives with his mother and stepfather in the village of Marsh Bend was arrested after he allegedly drove around drinking beer. Smart kid. <laughs> Michigan resident staying at Recreation Plantation in Lady Lake was inside his residence at about 8.30 p.m. By the way, Recreation Plantation is a RV resort literally straight across the street from the border of the village's property. It's a nice place to stay if you got an RV and you want to come down for a couple weeks or a month or two months or whatever. It's very popular, so make sure if you are, get reservations, call them before you come down. But it's as close to the villages as you're gonna get in an RV park. Uh, yeah, that's 8.30 p.m. Saturday when he heard a crash outside, according to the arrest report from the Lady Lake Police Department, the driver of a black 2011 Hyundai attempted to drive away after crashing into the vehicle in the driveway, but the Michigan man ordered him to stay and call law enforcement. There he is. Sumter County Sheriff's deputies nab a man driving a stolen golf cart. Don't leave the keys in your golf cart. Doesn't guarantee they won't take it. But I see a lot of that still. I preach that over and over and over again. Just for an example, and I didn't take pictures. But Sue and I went down to Brownwood yesterday and had lunch. And we had parked on the, on the curb right you know, in front of Gators. We, I look, always look to the left and right of me to make sure there's plenty of room for both of us to get in and out of the golf cart, you know, the space between the golf carts. And I looked down through there and I saw two golf carts with keys hanging out of the ignition. Now, maybe they were sitting in the outside area and they were watching their golf cart. And if they are, that's fine. I don't know that, but I'm just saying, for all intensity purposes, I'd say just do what you do in your car. Just get into the habit of just taking the keys out. Resident of the villages jailed after allegedly threatening to shoot police. <laughs> you the man. <laughs> Listen, dude, why do you people do this? Is there alcohol that makes you do this stupid stuff? Because if it is, I'm telling you, don't, you, you might as well give the alcohol up because you're going to be dead someday. They're going to shoot you. Do you think these cops haven't been thoroughly trained to handle people like you? Anyway, kid lord. Apparently you don't have the brains God give a goose. Let me get a picture of this guy. Oh, yeah. He, he should be in a retirement community. He probably inherited Grandpa's house. Look at that guy. Living in a retirement community. Ask yourself a question. Why would he want to live in a retirement community? He should be making a life for himself, you know? Raising families, a decent job, saving for retirement, this stuff. Nobody owes you anything. Ah, this is always fun. Holiday edition of bad parking in the villages. <laughs> People come down here and see mom and dad or whatever in the winter time and all kinds of craziness happens. I don't know why, but it just does every year. Let me get some pictures of some bad parking. Here's one. Right there. Parking on the wrong side of the street pointing the wrong direction. Here's another one. See that red car? Taking up four spots. Two that you're, they're, they're in, and then they cross the center line, and they're blocking two that's in front of him. All right, one. Guy came down in a motorhome to visit. I got nothing against motorhomes, but look how the ass of that thing's hanging out over the street. Can't do that. Not here. It's in the village of Duval, also. What's going on, Duval? Is your people up there going nuts? Catch of the day, bluefin. 
Guy parked right there on the street in front of Bluefin. Not supposed to be there. You know why? Just like my other video. Too lazy to walk. Here's another one. Public restrooms up there at Lake Sumter. That golf cart right there, that's the restroom behind him. He's parked the wrong way on the wrong side of the road. Here's another one. Same place that golf cart was at a while ago, right there by Dunkin' Donuts and down at Brownwood. They park up there on that curb right there. They're not supposed to be there at all. That curb goes down level with the street for make it nice for elderly people in wheelchairs and stuff to be able to, without taking a step. And everybody seems to think that you can just pull your car up there halfway up on the sidewalk and park. They do it all the time. And there's a Wildwood Satellite Police Department right there. They can sit inside that building and see these people. And I don't know what happens, but they just, they're just they just never around. Here's another one. In front of the, um, I guess it looks like, you know, what, is that Winn-Dixie? Yeah, at the Winn-Dixie store, uh, probably over at Pinellas Plaza. See how the, the, how the, the sidewalk itself goes all the way down level with the street? That's for people that's in wheelchairs and stuff like that. They can get right up on the sidewalk and go to the stores without worrying about jumping a curb. Cars. That car right there is parked on the sidewalk. A car right there. See that center line by the uh, front tires? They've actually crossed their parking spot and into the parking spot in front of them. Some of these elderly people down here, I think, have just simply either don't care about anybody else but themselves or they have really they're starting to lose their ability to drive safely there's another one street legal golf cart parked on the curb right in front of Publix and uh, they can just didn't want to walk that's all it boils down to they just don't want to walk that little bit from the parking spot in the Publix they'd rather park right there going the wrong direction and be in everybody's way if I'm sounding like I'm being a little rude, I really don't care because I do get tired of these people just parking all kinds of stupid ways. You know, I understand some of them. And so I don't, I mean, I'm going through some here. Some of them I'm not saying anything about because I'm looking at going, eh, you know, eh. But some of them are just ridiculous, like this one here. Now I say, you can see something d d wrong here, but I look at this and I'm going, eh, because I live here and I know what probably happened. Well, come on, let me, let me make the picture bigger. Can I? Yeah. See how that car is across that white line halfway into one parking space and halfway into the other? I say eh to that because if you don't live here, you probably don't see what goes on. There was probably a whole line of golf carts parked across there. I don't know where he's at or what he's doing, but... There was probably one golf cart or two golf carts that left. He's probably at something function there. I don't know what, something. And there was this big space right there. And he's got a little car anyway. So he just pulls in on this space in between these golf carts. Well, then the other golf carts leave. And when they leave, it looks like he's parked real stupid. When maybe when he got there, that's the only big space that was left for him to park into. Should he have done it? No, he really shouldn't do that at all. But I'm just looking at it, knowing how things are here sometimes in the winter. I just, just eh. Now here's another dummy over there at uh, Pinellas Park parking spot. He just they just think because there's no curb there, they can just park up on the sidewalk, and that's where he's at. Do you see anything wrong with that golf cart there? Parked the wrong way. He's not parked nosed into the curb. He parked normal direction like a car. So that means he's got that whole parking spot basically blocked for any two or three other golf carts that normally would have room to park in there. This is the wrong way to park your golf cart. There's another one, same shopping center, right there in front of Winn-Dixie at Pinellas Plaza. Here's a good one. There's no excuse for that kind of parking at all. And that's got Florida license plates on it. That's a local resident. Look at this one. See that white line where it stops? Stops way up there by the uh, passenger door. He's not even all the way pulled in. I don't know why. There might be somebody in front of him that went past the center line, like I showed in some of the other videos. And so that's as far in as he could get. I don't know that. 
but I wouldn't even have pulled in there. If I had to park like that, I'd just find somewhere else to go. Taking up two parking spaces. They don't know where the front of their car is. They don't know where the rear of the car is. They just pull in somewhere and that's it. 83 year old villager nears release from prison after violence toward girlfriend. Listen, if you don't think they'll put an 83 year old or a 90 year old in jail here, you're mistaken. They will. There, there he is. I can't hardly believe an 83 year old guy would be have enough energy to be violent against anybody. <laughs> Bamboo proposed to quell complaints about intolerable noise at roundabouts. Those people do have a complaint, a legal complaint, I don't know. But uh, when they put in uh, Warm Springs all the way down to Finney, which is actually an extension of Morse Boulevard across 44 heading south, to the right right there, is an old retirement community, I believe it is. I don't know what, it, but it's, it looks like an old retirement community, uh, kind of like our historic side of the villages. It's there on the right. They've been there for a long time. So the new road went right by their community. And then they put a big roundabout fairly close to there. There's a church there also, put a big roundabout right there. And now with all the traffic, the dump trucks, the semi trucks, the furniture, delivering truck, all the things you can imagine on that road, these people living in there now have all this noise that they'd never had before. Because before they started building down there, it was basically just pasture ground. There was just nothing out there. So I kind of feel for them. But now they got all this noise and they're saying, to the developer, they're saying to Wildwood, whoever they're talking to, they gotta do something about this noise, put up some kind of a sound barrier, something. And I don't know who would be responsible for, for that. The people that approved the building of this stuff without taking anybody into consideration? Uh, I don't know, the developer? I don't know, he has to get approval for all this, so I can't really say it's all his fault. But apparently, somebody is, um, saying that we'll put a, a row of clumping bamboo. If you don't know what clumping bamboo is, it's bamboo that does not spread. That's what I've got in my back. People are always saying, oh, watch that bamboo. It'll be all over the place. No, there's a clumping bamboo that it just grows in a circle. Now the circle over years will get a little bit bigger this way, but it will not spread to your neighbor's yard. It will not spread, it doesn't. That's running bamboo. So if you're thinking about bamboo, make sure you know what you're getting. Because clumping bamboo can be uh, trimmed and whatever. And I think I've showed how I trim mine to keep it at a certain size. You just take a, well, you, you have to see that video. If you haven't seen the video, go watch it. I get paid for you to watch it. So anyway, I've been a little bit of time taking pieces of mine out. Because I think I'm going to do away with it only because... Not because I, I care about it getting bigger this way. It's just a, it goes up 35 feet. And I don't want it that high. Because I think it just looks ugly when it gets that tall in my yard. I got a small yard. But, so I, I, I trim the top of it at a, at a kind of a round crown. But bamboo grows so fast. I trim it and then two weeks later I'm looking at it and it's a mess. It needs to be trimmed again and again. And like I said before, I'm getting tired of this trimming around here. I'm trying to make my life a little easier. So I've been taking big chunks of it out. Now I've got it down to where you don't look like a whole lot of them. I'm thinking about just taking the whole thing out. Only because of that. Villagers targeted by scammers who intentionally damage sprinkler systems. I've seen this before years ago. What they do, and I don't know how if they know if you're home or not, or if you're watching or not, I don't know. But they usually come in pairs. One of them will go to your yard somewhere, probably somewhere where, where you really can't see them. And they actually kick the head of your sprinkler and break it off, your yard sprayers. I know you say, well, those go down on the ground, right? Not all the time. Sometimes they'll stick up. And you have to take your foot and actually push them down. Dirt and debris gets down there. Uh, but anyway, they break them. And then they go. So the other guy goes to the front door and knocks on the door and says, Hey, we noticed that your water sprinkler over here is broke. And we have this service. And we'll be glad to check all of them out. And blah, blah, blah. And they do this for money. Well, 
two things. One, don't believe them. And then two, if, if they don't have an office. If they're in a pickup truck and they're working out, I've always said, don't do business with people working out a pickup truck. Just don't. It saves you a lot of grief. Uh, and then two is, there's no soliciting allowed in the villages. They're not allowed to come knocking on your door and saying, hey, I represent so-and-so. We'd like to give you an estimate on your roof, or we'd like to give you an estimate on doing some weed control in your yard. They're not allowed to do that here, but they are allowed to come to your front door and leave a card. They ain't allowed to ring your doorbell. They're not allowed to knock on your door to give you that card. They just take the card and slide it in the door. Most of the reputable companies here, that's exactly what they do. They don't do anything else. If they come up to your house knocking on your door and say, I'd like to talk to you, right away let them know that they're not allowed to solicit in the villages. And then if they give you any kind of comment whatsoever, and this has happened to me once, you get on the phone, you call district uh, enforcement and tell them where they're at, Give them all the description you can, use your head, use your eyes, look and see what kind of car they're driving, what kind of truck they're driving, which way did they go out of your neighborhood, what road was they on, tell them down there, and they send community watch out there, and then you won't see that person again, they'll be gone. I actually done that here once. Um, so you don't want to do business with these people anyway. If they, don't, if they don't respect our rules here or don't know what the rules are here, you don't want to do business with them. Village of Pinellas resident celebrates after first hole in one. Congratulations! I never had one of those. Come close a hundred times, never had one. It's probably a good feeling. Did you buy everybody a drink after the game? That's the rule. Not really a rule, it's just tradition. You got the hole in one, everybody you were playing with, you have to buy them a drink. Several tunnels will be closed for painting during the month of January. I reported this months ago that they're going to start lining the underside of the tunnels with some kind of paint, some kind of something. And it's supposed to help uh, reflect the lights in there to make the tunnels brighter. Okay, I believe that's enough of the village's news. And I just want to add a couple of things in here. Somebody sent me an email. I only get like one email here and there, so I don't really worry about it. Uh, but I just want to address it in case somebody else out there thinks about sending me an email the same way. She, she or he, I think it was a she. And like I said, I don't really care. When I get these emails, I mostly just ignore them. Um, said that, uh, do you ever report anything good about the villages? I get so sick and tired of, of watching your news and hearing nothing but bad. Let me just say this. I don't make the news. I just read it to you. That right there was three days worth of news that I just read to you right here. So whatever's on there, I just read it. Now, if there's news on there, and there is a lot of news on there for, for Lady Lake, I don't report that. Leesburg, I don't report it. Orlando, I don't report it. That has nothing to do with the villages, so I don't, I don't talk about that. But when there is something good on there, I do read it. Where do you got a hole in one? I read it. You know, so if, if it's 75% bad, so be it. I'm not going to not read it just because one of you don't like it. I say this, if you don't like the news that I read on Friday, then you need to do what you would do on TV. If a Channel 8 news comes on and you don't like them, but you like your Channel 6 news better, what do you do? Enough said. So with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, there was one other one. Somebody sent me an email saying... Uh, they wish that I would put music on some of my videos that everybody would like because he didn't like music on one of my videos. Which one? I don't know. I didn't go look. Uh, you tell me, what music is it that you think everybody's going to like? I'll tell you, none. So with that being said, I'll see you all on the other side. It's been a long and tiresome day. I've been waiting to come home and give you everything that I have Now we could stay awake all night and have dinner in bed Slowly watch as the sun rises or fall asleep instead ooh, 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 This is how it ought to be Every day should be like a hovering cloud Can bother us to step on our feet. Oh no, step on our feet. There's a road that leads to pain. If we go down it, there's
a chance we won't make it back We better move to the positive side There's a reason why we still have each other to hold Now we could stay awake all night and have dinner in bed Slowly watch as the sun rises or fall asleep instead How it ought to be Every day should be like a hovering cloud When it's only you and me No one else can bother us Step on our feet Oh no Step on our feet